Good afternoon and welcome once again to WebFG TV. With us today is Carol Farmer. She is the founder of Charmer Charts. Carol, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Okay, you're a technical trader with roughly 30 years experience trading financial markets. Yes. Started out in the pits in London. I did, yes. And you're purely a technical analyst. Technical trader, sure, for sure. Technical trader. Do you truly believe that just on the basis of charts, one can be a successful trader? Oh, without a doubt. Okay. Yeah. How come? Of what course. are the advantages? Well, the advantages is the fact that all you're looking at is the price action. Mm -hmm. And you're not bombarded with a million fundamental news statements daily, mm -hmm. intraday, daily, whatever. So all you're looking at is the price, whether a market is overbought, oversold, what are good entry and exit levels. Mm -hmm. And I don't think fundamental data can give you when to go into a market, when not to go into a market. Okay. Before the interview, you were explaining to me your experience, your experience in London when you started out as a trader. Sure. All of the traders were saying, go short the long bond. Yeah. You went the other way. I did. Why? Why not? When we first started on the floor, everybody was selling the bonds. Mm -hmm. And being a complete novice, I saw them going up. And I didn't quite understand. Mm -hmm. And then one day, about three months later, I was walking behind one of the booths um, late at night, waiting for an M1 figure to come out. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy there, and he was updating charts for the right. following day. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, you know, what are these? And he explained, and he showed me that the 30-year bond had been in a downtrend mm -hmm. bear market for seven years, sideways for two, mm -hmm. and we'd just broken out of this sideways mm -hmm. trading band. Mm -hmm. So all the traders that were trading the bonds had only ever worked in a bear market. Right. So they'd always make money mm -hmm. selling. Mm -hmm. What they didn't know was that the trend had changed. Right. So I said to my boss the next day, can I go and buy some? Derision all round, but off you go. Mm -hmm. And I did. I went and bought my five lots. It went up, I bought another five lots. At the end of the day, sold out my 10 lots. Mm -hmm. And then I kept doing that. And I tried to explain, you know, that the market's going higher. And right. it's like, shush, it's going, the bonds are going down. Typical boss. So I said, I said nothing. I just went in, did my own thing, and um, didn't listen to anybody or anything. First, big lesson, no one knows more than you do. Okay. No one. Mm -hmm. So you've got to trade how you see fit right. and what works for you. And that mm -hmm. worked for me. It was like a light bulb going off. I see. And, um, put me firmly on the side of charts mm -hmm. and technical analysis to trade with rather than a million economic figures daily that really nobody knew where anything was going. Mm -hmm. And this was in the days of the intervention with the big major central banks. Right. So, you know, who I have to say always intervened at a chart point. So, for this me it works, you know. And for them as well. If, yeah, if it's fixed, don't break it. You know, Indeed. That's it. Okay. Also, uh, you were telling me before the interview the importance of controlling emotions. The thing How do you with, do this? The thing with charts is that the it should take the emotion out of trading. Mm -hmm. Most of the traders that will fail, they'll take a position and automatically they are long or short of the market, okay. and that that irritates them. Mm -hmm. You know, and if it goes against them, are they right? Are they wrong? Are they this? Are they, a million emotions go through your right. head. Trading the way I do, it should take out that emotion mm -hmm. because you know where you're wrong you have a target you have an entry point you have an exit point and you should be able to just put those orders in leave it walk away mm -hmm. we don't as traders by nature right. we look at it you know constantly mm -hmm. but over the years I've learned to stand back mm -hmm. is probably better than sitting there in front of a screen all day long which is where the traders of today make the mistake you know, if I could change one thing that they do, it would be that. Okay, traders make mistakes. Potentially, you can lose a fortune. You can lose of course a lot you of can. Money. Of course you can. But you'll lose, you'll lose more. You see, with charts, you know where you're wrong. As I said before, I'm quite happy to be long or short of the market, as long as the technicals and the charts tell me this is the right way to be. As soon as something tells me I'm wrong, I'm out. For example, the other day we were short of the euro. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
the reason of being short of the euro was the fact that it had broken through the 200 day moving average, it had gone through it. Mm -hmm. Now we've been staying above there for quite some time. Yes. We broke. Mm -hmm. You're not going to hold a long position, mm -hmm. okay, at that point. Mm -hmm. The market came down, it didn't go below 134.80 which was our entry point again, around the 135.10, 134.80, go back into the euro. We then screamed up, back above the moving average. Mm. It tells you, charts tell you a story. Right, okay. And they paint a picture, and it's visible, it's there, you can see it. Mm. You don't hear it. And, and it's to, real time. It's real time, and it, you don't have to decipher it. Mm. You know, it's, it's, you can see it. Whereas, Trust prices. Exactly. Mm. But if you're listening to, people talking about fundamentals, you have to interpret what they say. Right. Now, if you've got a panel of economists that can't agree mm -hmm. on what they're saying, they how can you, you know, as the retail trader sitting at home, mm. how can you understand it? Mm. The price is always right, whether you're the wrong way or the right way, that's the price. Okay, the price is always right, and when people lose money, you were telling me before, Approximately what percentage of amateur traders lose money? I have heard from very many mm -hmm. um, spread betting companies, it's up to 95% of traders, retail traders, mm -hmm. that will fail. It's too high a percentage, you know. They mm -hmm. are just putting their money into a trading platform and they're not knowing what they're doing. Right. And you've really got to know what you're doing. You've got to have a strategy. Weapons what? in the hands of children. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's really sad because it's a fabulous thing to be doing. It's a, it's really exciting, and it's you know I wouldn't have been doing it for 32 years if I didn't find it exciting. Hmm. I do, even though I I trade with the charts. To me, they're still exciting every day, hmm. and I do believe that unless you get education to the retail, that's critical. You were telling me before, education. You have to dedicate a lot of time to learning. You do. In the old days, when you was working in a bank, it would take you five years to work your way up to become a junior trader. Mm. These days, anybody can open an account and trade. No one tells them how, mm. no one explains why, they just trade. And it's it's gambling. But for everyone that loses money and leaves, there's 10 waiting to come oh, in. Oh, absolutely. It's big business. Casino. And the, and the business isn't to make you money, mm. it's to get your money. It's exactly. the difference. You know, what I would like to do, and I, I don't know how, is to try and educate people into, it's not hard. People make too much hmm. that it's so difficult to trade. Okay. It isn't. So you do recommend trading? Oh, all the time. Yeah, of course, without a doubt. Because, you know, what's the point of a chart if you don't trade off of it? There's no point, is there? It just has to be done properly. It does. It's like being a chef mixing all the ingredients to make a fantastic meal mm -hmm. and then not cooking it. Mm -hmm. Pointless. Indeed. Yes, yes, yes. You know, and, and I find that if, unless somebody trades, you can't advise people mm -hmm. because you have no idea how it feels to be a trader mm -hmm. on the wrong side of a position. You know, mm -hmm. I've traded bull markets, bear markets, sideways markets, so nothing phases me mm -hmm. anymore. Um, I've, I've seen I've seen all the different cycles, mm -hmm. so they've got to relax into it and not worry about it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, look, look at the things that are important. So time, experience, learning, discipline, all of the above. What you've just mentioned, all of it. Now I know today when it's bombarded on the telly, TV to you that you know, put your money in, you can get rich quick. It isn't the case. If you do, it's because you've gambled, not because you know what you're doing. Right. Okay, and you might as well flip a coin, buy, sell, no. There are specific buy entries, specific exit levels, mm -hmm. take profit levels, you know? Mm -hmm. Fear and greed will run a market, and it's fed on these people that don't know really what they're doing. Right, okay. If we, okay, let's say, do you have a specific trading pattern, a specific pattern, chart pattern, or, indicator which you follow which you would recommend in particular a chart pattern they're, they're, they're just too numerous to mention okay okay they really are um, that will come with experience and defining mm. where the patterns are mm. but technical indicators that I use would be stochastics okay, okay a slow stochastic right moving averages for 
support and resistance uh -huh. level, okay. um, not the crossovers, because by the time it's crossed, the market's gone away from you anyway. Okay. So what you could do is, I trade once they break mm -hmm. the level. I don't mm -hmm. wait for them to cross. I trade mm -hmm. on the breakouts. Okay. Um, you define your patterns. You've got triangles, rectangles, God knows what. Mm -hmm. Double tops, double bottoms, head and shoulders. Mm -hmm. There's a, a rake of them. You were telling me there were about 400? There are 400 studies that are available on the platform that I use. Okay. I use five. I've always used the same five. May I ask which five? Yes, you can. Stochastics, uh -huh. RSI, mm -hmm. moving averages, mm -hmm. pivot points, uh -huh. and MACD. That's it. I don't use any others. Um, because you'd be in the same position as what you would be listening to all the news coming out all the mm -hmm. time. What one do you look at? What's flavour of the month? Right. And I hear it time and time again. Have you seen this? Yes, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But, you know, people have to learn by their mistakes. That's the only way. Sometimes, though, the mistake wipes them out mm -hmm. and they can't get back into the market. So trade small at the beginning? Trade very small at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Run a dummy trading account for six months. Uh -huh. That would be my critical advice to okay. you. Run a dummy trading account. Mm -hmm. For six months, it sounds a long time, but if you're going to do this for the rest of your life, it isn't that long to learn what you're doing. Indeed, and investment. even when you go live, small, tiny, tiny amounts, mm. learn. Because that first trade you take when you've gone live yes. will be the one that freaks you, mm -hmm. okay, or makes you into a proper trader. Okay, fantastic. So with 30 years experience in financial markets, yeah, you say five studies, that's it. If I may, one last question. Sure. Specific forecasts for some of the major currency pairs? Specific forecasts. Okay. I think currencies are going to increase. They're going okay. to go higher. Mm -hmm. I can see quite easily 140 on the euro within okay. a very short space of time. Mm -hmm. 173, 175 on the cable. Okay, fantastic. The euro sterling, I think we just leave that one that's going down mm -hmm. south mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. The interesting two three, the stock markets, oil, gold. Tell us. I'll tell you. I think oil is going to come under pressure at the 105 area. You've got right. to be very, very careful. We've come up a long way mm -hmm. in a very short space of okay. time. Be careful of that one. Don't go long of oil unless it breaks the 105 and a half. All right. With sterling, don't go long unless it breaks 170 and a half. You've got fund managers out there selling the hell out of it uh -huh. right onto that 170 okay. area. Mm -hmm. Because the next critical level is 174, 175. So there's your parameters of why you're trying to keep it below 170. Because really? it's the next psychological level it will go to. Mm -hmm. The Euro Swiss, well, we know that they want to keep it, you know, buoyant. Mm -hmm. So every mm -hmm. time it gets towards that 120 area, it's bought up again. But basically, I think you're playing currencies from the long side for the next few weeks mm -hmm. until we get this summer period out of the way, then we look again. Personally, I think currencies go down towards Christmas, okay. but at the moment, we go higher. Direction is higher. Sure. Fantastic. Well, Carl Harmer, founder of Charmer Charts. Yes. Thank you very much for your time. We hope to have you with us again next Thank year. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Thank you very much. And that's all from all of us here at WebFG TV for today. Thank you very much for your time.